B-Sharp developers have concerns about using the new primary constructors feature in C-Sharp 12. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to find out why they have concerns and whether you should use them. If you're familiar with dependency injection in .NET, you'll be familiar with this code snippet. So what we're doing is we're injecting the ABC service into the constructors parameter and then we're storing it in a private read-only field. But with primary constructors in C-Sharp 12, we can store the reference to the ABC service as part of a class parameter. As a result, we don't need this code and we can still use the ABC service throughout the class. It's exactly the same as before. Well, some of you didn't seem to think that. This LinkedIn post says, are we losing the read-only definition for the instant fields by implementing the primary constructor? Whilst this X, formerly Twitter post says, but these are not read-only. And they're right, parameters are mutable in C Sharp. I can demonstrate that by creating a new method and I'm gonna call it my method. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set the ABC service to something else. We can see that's allowed, but why is this a problem anyways? If we start changing the instance of it, it could lead to runtime errors if the ABC service is used in other parts of the class. Now I asked a question at the .NET conference as to when we might have read-only parameters. The question was, when can we make parameters in primary constructors read-only as currently they are mutable? Mads Torgerson, lead designer of the c -sharp language, and Dustin Campbell, principal software engineer at Microsoft, answered my question at the .NET conference. They stated that they are aware of the request to add read-only primary constructor parameters. However, they stated that there were questions around how much should you be able to put on a parameter. Read-only makes sense, but should you be able to add an access modifier on a parameter? They go on to say that they talked at length multiple times in language design meetings, but decided to defer it at a later date. Although they aren't committed to it being in the language, they are at least committed to looking at it. You can watch them answer my question in full by clicking on the link in the YouTube description. So should you be using primary constructors for dependency injection at this stage? Well, that's up to you. This will work absolutely fine. If we inject the ABC service, we can use that throughout the class. Just remember though that parameters are mutable. So if we go ahead and start changing the instance of the ABC service, it could lead to runtime errors. Watch our dependency injection video next if you want to use it in your .NET application. You'll find out about the different lifetime scopes available and how to implement them into an ASP.NET Core app.